Hey guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. I am also doing my design team project for May May Made It. And today I want to share with you this really fun beehive shaped card. Isn't that cute? Opens up like this. On the inside you have the bumblebee along with the honeycomb. And the greeting on the outside it says, Hive been thinking of you. The stamps that I am using is called the Bee's Knees. You can find this on May May's store and I will have the link for that below. Really fun stamp set if you are into bees or anything summery or spring-like. Really good stamp set. There's a lot of things you can do with it. But today we're making this little shaped card here. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here. Upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. You want to go down here and click on Create New Project. Left hand side toolbar, click on Insert Images. It's going to bring up the image library. In the search box, type in the word Beehive. Hit Enter. And the one we want is at the bottom. It is from the Creator Critter cartridge. Click on that. Bottom right, Insert Images. Now I do want to resize the image so it'll fit into a standard A2 size envelope, which is normally about four and a quarter by five and a half. So you want to have your image selected. Go to the right hand toolbar and click on edit. You want to leave the lock locked. That's connecting your width and height and change your height from 2.4 to be 4.8. Hit enter. My width also changed. So it's now 4.18 in width, 4.8 in height. So we're under that four and a quarter by five and a half. Right, now you want to take your image, select it, right click on it, choose ungroup and move one of them aside. We have this piece here. Now you will see there are lines in here. I want to hide them. If you want to cut them out, that's fine. But to hide them, you want to click on your image, right click and then select hide contour. And you'll see your background kind of fades away. And now all you have to work with is this image. You want to take your mouse and hover over the lines. And when you hover over them, they light up or get brighter. It is kind of tricky. I got one there. Now if you click on something that's not your line, a little pop-up will come up saying that you cannot hide all the contours of the shape. Just ignore that and keep on going back and clicking on the line. And like I said, they will light up when you go over them. Okay, I got that one. This one here and then our last one there. Now when you think that you have them all, just going to take your mouse and click on your screen. All right, now I can see they're all gone. Now I do want to make three copies of this image. So have the image selected. Go to your top toolbar, click on copy, and then paste two times. So I want to have three copies of that. Put one of them aside. Now these two here, I want to weld together to create our shaped card. I want to weld them together toward our top and bottom. So move one image up and one image down. Under your edit panel, you will see a box for position with an X and a Y coordinate. All that means is where the image is located on your map. So if you move them around, you will see those numbers here change. And we want to focus on the X coordinate because we're lining them up top to bottom. If we were making a card that would open up like a book left to right, we'd work on the Y coordinate. So I'm going to have my image over here. I have it selected. My X coordinate is 2.4. And again, yours is going to vary depending on where you put your image. You just want to make sure whatever that coordinate is for the X, you want to make the bottom one the same one. So again, mine is 2.4. Click on this one here and change just the X coordinate to be the same, 2.4. Hit enter. Now you see when you do that, they line up perfectly top to bottom. You want to take your top one and flip it over. So under your edit panel again, where it says rotate, you'll also see mirror. There's mirror left to right or horizontal and mirror up and down or vertical. We want up and down. So now he's upside down. Now you want to take your mouse or your this image here and move him down to where this piece here and that piece here are touching. I'm going to click on it and I find it easier using my arrow keys. Just use your arrow down key until they're overlapping at the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now take your left mouse button across both images, go to your layer panel and click on weld. Now they're welded together as one piece. Now the reason we created this piece over here is because when we fold our card in half, we're not going to have that top heart. So you want to have that piece here so we can use that. 
I'm going to change the color of this piece. This is our cardstock base. Have that piece selected. Under your layer panel, you'll see where that is because it kind of highlights. Click on it. I want that to be white. This one here, I want to be black. Click on that one, change it to be black. Now we have a white cardstock base, a black piece, and a yellow piece. This piece here is going to overlap. Go ahead and right click on it to move to front. It'll go on top of that piece here, like that, and then the yellow piece will go on top of that one. Right click again, move to front. So now when we fold our card, we have the whole beehive. All right, go ahead and click on go. You'll need three mats, one for your black, one for your yellow, and one for your white. I'm going to cut them out over the table and put the card together. Alrighty guys, all of our images are cut out. Now you see here by my original card, I created little dash lines with a marker. I already went and did that to one piece to save some time. Now you don't need to do that, I just think it adds that little something to the card. I take your white piece and just fold it in half, lining up the sides of the beehive. And we can set that aside. I'm going to take your yellow piece and lay it on top of your black piece and glue them together. The nice thing about this piece is that either way you do it, it's fine. So if you're going to create the lines like I did and you messed up, which I've done, just flip it over and do the lines on the other side. All right, so put your glue on there and line them up. Okay, they are lined up. Now we're going to take this piece and glue it to our card base. And this piece here, don't put glue on the heart because that won't be attached. And I'm just using Walmart cardstock. I'm using Walmart Georgia Pacific brand cardstock for my white base there. All right, so we have our card. How easy was that, right? Now I want to decorate the inside. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. And we're going to be using this, the honeycomb here. And I'm using Stampin' Up! Crushed Curry Ink in the yellow. I'm going to ink this up. But I do want to stamp off like three times so it's not so bright. Stamp off and then stamp in the card. And you can see, by even by me stamping off three times, it still is fairly bright. But it's not so hardly bright to where you're still able to write your reading on the inside. Right, so do that one again. And then we have one more right there. All right, that is done. Let's go ahead and close the yellow. We're going to bring in black ink. I'm going to be using the Mento black ink. And we're going to grab our little bumblebee guy. Now, mine is stained. You will see what you'll notice with, poly with photopolymer stamps. Sometimes they do stain on you. That's perfectly fine and normal. It does not affect the stamping at all. So I'm going to stamp him up really good. I'm going to stamp off to make sure I get them all covered. Okay, he looks pretty good. Go ahead and re-ink them up again. And I find it easier with me to turn the stamp over and just ink it. All right. We're going to kind of stamp them on a diagonal in the upper part of our card, straight down, straight up, and perfect every time. All right, now you want to take the little trail, which is right there. We're going to ink that up again. And just kind of line them up, the trail with this tail. Okay, now we're going to stamp it again. And just turn and line it up. Okay, perfect. So now the inside of our card is done. Now we have the outside. You want to do our greeting. So I just have a piece of scrap white cardstock. And the greeting we're using is called Hive I've Been Thinking of You. I absolutely love that. Rather than saying I've, it says Hive. All right, so take your black ink again. And I have just, like I said, a, a scrap piece of white. I'm going to stamp that down. Now you want to take your scissors and cut this out. If you want to use a punch, you could. But we're going to layer this up. So just kind of go in and cut it straight. And I find with me, if I leave the scissors just like that, it'll stay straight. Straight up. And if you're not straight, it's okay. Sometimes, you know, it's okay to be not straight. I think it adds character to the card. I'm going to kind of look at it 
And I can see I'm a little bit high on this side. Okay, close enough. All right, now take the same yellow piece you've been working with, put blue on the back of your white. We're going to layer this with the white or the yellow and then the black. I'm lining it up here in that one corner to save me a little bit of cutting. Like that. And go ahead and cut a little bit around it so a little bit of the yellow shows. I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm bringing a piece of black cardstock, the same black you've been working with, and once again we're going to glue the back of this one. And I'm using the Art Glitter Glue, and you can also find that in May May's store. Sometimes it is sold out, but when they're sold out they normally get them back in stock pretty quick. Alright, I'm going to take that one and cut it where you see a little bit of black showing. This side here. I can see my white piece is crooked, and you know that's just, like I said, that adds character to the card. All right, Pretty good. All right, now we take all this, flip it over, and add some kind of dimensional to it, either dimensional by Stampin' Up or foam tape, pop dots, whatever. All right, I'm gonna put two of them on the back of that, squish them down, take the backing off. Cute. Not fun. Who wouldn't want to get that card? Like I said, there's tons of readings on there. There's You're the Bee's Knees, Be Beautiful, Where Have You Been, Be Yourself, Be Calm and Buzz On. Lots of ways you can personalize it for the person you were giving it to, but how fun to create a little card like that. And like I said, we sized it enough to where it's going to fit into a standard size envelope. If you want to, rather having the greeting hang off a little bit like I did here, just scoot them over to where the whole card will fit in the envelope. But there you have it, guys. My design, my design team project for me May made it. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.